From Bill Power Stadium in Uniontown, it's time for WPIL High School Girls Soccer here on the South Union Township Sports Network as the Uniontown Red Raiders take on the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Brian Morozak alongside Jerry Dupay, South Union Township Sports Network coverage. Brian is a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Robert Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV, including Gary Smith. Again, I'm Brian Morozak alongside Jerry Dupay, and we have the Section 2 3A opener on tap for both Laurel Highlands and Uniontown here today. The Mustangs 1-0 overall. Denny Marzano in his first year as Laurel Highlands head coach. The Uniontown Red Raiders 0-2. Michael Weistepec in his first year as the head coach of the Uniontown Red Raiders. So both of these schools with first-year head coaches, longtime Laurel Highlands Girls coach Dave Sahida resigned in the offseason. Denny Marzano has taken over on the Uniontown side. Michael Weistepec taking over for Linda Mershon, who lasted only one year during her second stint as Uniontown's head coach. The Mustangs looking for their 18th straight win over Uniontown in this series. The Red Raiders have not defeated the Mustangs since 2009. These two schools met only once last year with Uniontown playing as an independent. The Mustangs down the Red Raiders 4-1 to one back on October the 20th, and despite a 4-12 and overall record last year, the Mustangs extended their playoff streak to five straight years, but fell to Mars 13-0 in the first round of the WPIL playoffs. Uniontown going winless last year, played only seven games, went 0-7, playing an independent schedule after the district originally canceled fall sports before reinstating them. Both schools will play a conference schedule. Here in 2021, we mentioned the Mustangs off to a 1-0 start. They won their opener 5-2 over Brownsville on Saturday. The Falcons are playing the entire 2021 season without their senior star, Tessa Della Rose. The Mustangs defeated Brownsville on this field at Bill Power Stadium as their turf is still curating at Mustang Field. It will be ready for the games next week. The Laurel Highlands boys expected to play their first home game on Wednesday. The Laurel Highlands girls will play at home on Thursday, and we're planning on bringing you both of those games here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Uniontown sitting at 0-2. The Red Raiders fell to Brownsville on Friday 6-3, and they lost to Bentworth on Saturday by an 8-2 margin. Again, looking forward to getting our soccer season underway here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Again, we'll have live video streams of Laurel Highlands boys and girls games throughout the fall season. Laurel Highlands, they're away. Whites, blue numbers, red shorts here today. Uniontown and the home maroons with white numbers as we get set to get this contest underway from Bill Power Stadium. Nice to have the high school soccer season back here on the South Union Township Sports Network. We'll turn it over to the public address announcer for today's starting lineups. Junior number eight, Joey Cooper. Senior number nine, Hannah Newman. Sophomore number 12, Joycelyn Ratcliffe. Sophomore number 13, Kate Chiato. Sophomore number 18, Madison McLean. Sophomore number 19, Madison Niclo. Yeah. 
Junior, number 23, Jenna Boyton. Senior, number 27, Journey Greer. Freshman, number 28, Ellie Mancini. And rounding out the starting lineup for the Mustang Junior, number 63, Jaden Rubalcaba. The Mustangs led by first-year head coach Danny Marzano and assistant coach Jeff Kreinbuch and statistician Tammy Marzano. Now, you Union Town fans, up! Put your hands together for your Union Town girls! Sophomore, number 10, Carmen Super G Kudua. Sophomore, number two, Raylan Spunky Ford. Sophomore, number 11, Kaylee the Kid Mutnanski. Junior, number 20, Lizzie McGuire Perkins. Freshman, number six, Emily Backgammon. Sophomore, number 22, Casey the Cat Philkovic. Senior, number nine, Katie Cowgirl Jacob. Junior, number 17, Maddie Smiley Basinger. Junior, number 13, Georgia the Peach Pose. Senior, number eight, Nina Little Bam Brown. Junior, number 16, Zaya the Z McCune. Rounding out the starting lineup, freshman number 21, Allison Alley Novak. Red Raiders are led by first year hit coach Michael Weistepec. And now, folks, if you please rise, gentlemen, removing your caps, turning your attention to the American flag in the end zone by the school board for the singing of the national anthem by Mr. Parker Herman. dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the pearl as fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. Just about set to go here from Bill Power Stadium, the South Union Township Sports Network. would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to live stream Laurel Highlands girls soccer games for you this season, including the Sprouse Insurance Group in Uniontown and Agent David Hughes, United Bank, 
Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, Smith Lewis Chess CPAs in Uniontown, Jason Scott, South Union Township Supervisor, Southwestern Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Uniontown, Zebley Mahal of White, Uniontown Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys, UPMC Centers for Rehab Services in Uniontown on Wayland Smith Drive, Jim Burns Director, South Union Township Supervisors, Robert Schiff Bauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, and Chessler's Fine Furniture, 601 Pittsburgh Road, Uniontown, in front of the Fayette Plaza. So we're set to go. Uniontown and Laurel Highlands section opener in section 2-3A. Laurel Highlands looking for their sixth straight trip to the WPIL playoffs under first-year head coach Denny Marzano. Uniontown looking to make the WPIL playoffs for the first time in school history. Mustangs 1-0, Red Raiders 0-2. Uniontown will work left to right as we describe it. And Zaya McCune will get this match started. Uniontown Playing a 4-4-2 here today with McCune and Allison Novak on the front line. Nina Brown, Katie Jacobs, Georgia Holes, and Maddie Basinger in the midfield. Emily Gammon, Kaylee Madansky, Lizzie Perkins, and Casey Vajalkovic on the back line with Carmen Kudaba in goal for Uniontown. We'll get to the Laurel Highland side here in just a moment. A little pressure there from Journey Greer winning the ball for the Mustangs, trying to touch it up to Kate Chido on the front line, but good defense there from Lizzie Perkins on the defensive side for Uniontown just to push it out of play. And the Mustangs will try to reset here with Hannah Newman taking the throw in. The Mustangs with a 4-3-3 here today. Addie knows Julie Cooper, Hannah Newman, and Madison Nicklow on the back line as they try to create a little action here in the box, but the ball goes all the way through and out here on the near side. Madison McLean, Journey Greer, and Ellie Mancini, the freshman in the midfield, with Jocelyn Radcliffe, Kate Shido, and Jenna Voighton on the front line for the Mustangs. Jaden Rulvacaba, the junior in goal. The Mustangs, one freshman, that's Mancini. Five sophomores, three juniors, and two seniors in the Laurel Highlands starting lineup. Uniontown with two freshmen, three sophomores, four juniors, and two seniors. And they're 11 here today. As the Mustangs will trigger it in, here from the near boundary, and it's sent in there by Addie Nose, looking there for Chido, a little poke towards the goal, and Carmen Kudaba making the save there for Uniontown, and she'll take it out to the top of the box and send it away there out to Nina Brown. A little pressure on the ball, though, from Addie Nose, trying to win it back there for Laurel Highlands, and the Mustangs on the attack. Down the near wing to Jocelyn Radcliffe, top of the 18, was met there by Kaylee Matansky, who will knock it off here on the near side. And on the clear there is Casey Vajalkovic sending it out. And Addie Knowles will trigger it back in here for the Mustangs. In traffic to Madison McLean. Greer looking for a touch, and it's played back to Julie Cooper, who's been a mainstay in the starting 11 over the last couple of years for the Mustangs. Again, trying to create a little action here, top of the box, a little poke there from Greer. On to Chido, who fires and scores. So Katie Chido, just over two minutes in, giving the Mustangs an early one to nothing lead. The goal occurring here at the 37-54 mark of the first Kate Chido. And the Mustangs go on top by a score of one to nothing. So a good job by Chido and the Mustangs on the early attack. And now Uniontown will try to reset. Again, when these two schools met last year, only played once with Uniontown playing as an independent. Red Raiders were very competitive in that match. Laurel Highlands won by a score of four to one. Mustangs try to reset from their back line and a little Uniontown pressure. Good job there from... Reese Haggerty trying to push it up the field, along with Zaya McCune and Allison Novak on the front line. A foul called, so a free kick here for the Red Raiders. A little low line drive, top of the 18, and that one scooped up by Ruva Kaba after Zaya McCune was putting a little pressure on inside the 18-yard box. And Ruva Kaba will send it back out here for Laurel Highlands. Down on the near side. And Casey... But Jalkovic with some issues there with the ball, and Jocelyn Radcliffe breaking back here for the Mustangs. Radcliffe between defenders, keeping it going. Low shot towards the goal. That one partially blocked and lobbed into the air there by Carmen Kudaba, but Radcliffe staying on it here as Jocelyn looking for a little cross out in front. Uniontown trying to clear, and there's Radcliffe again looking to center. Two Uniontown defenders there, now pushed back here to Maddie Basinger. 
Looking for room, Radcliffe playing it back to Journey Greer. Now Madison McLean, McLean a low shot, and that one scooped up again by Carmen Kudaba. And Kudaba will line it back. Red Raiders knock it down, trying to reset from their own zone, but more pressure again from Laurel Highlands. McLean down to Radcliffe. Radcliffe sending it in deep to the corner flag, looking for the cross out in front. Madison's there. She's trying to turn around and cross again to Chida, who's on the doorstep, but knocked away there by Uniontown defensively. I think that was Lizzie Perkins stepping in, knocking it away. Number 20 doing a good job, junior defender for the Red Raiders. That is ruled a corner kick here for Laurel Highlands. It'll be Kate Chido to take it. Chido from the near side will put it down. Play just over four minutes. Chido headed out. I'll come back in Kate's directional miscommunication there on the near side, and the Mustangs turn it over. Chido and Addie knows we're not on the same page. And it should be. Now they're going to roll Earl Highlands ball. I thought it was touched by the Mustangs going out. Nonetheless, Knowles will reset back to McLean, and McLean just putting it over the goal bar and out. Maybe a goal kick here for Carmen Kudaba. And Kudaba sending it out on the near side was deflected there by Basinger and then going out of play. Laurel Highlands has had most of the ball so far here in the opening five minutes. Lob back again to Radcliffe. Jocelyn looking for the cross. Played back to McLean, top of the 18. Low shot was deflected there by a Red Raider defender. And trying to keep it in play there is Nina Brown. Some pressure there from Greer, just sending it wide. Wow. Journey Greer from point blank range almost made it 2 to nothing. Laurel Highlands. It'll be another goal kick here for Kudaba. Occurring here at the 34-17 mark of the first half. Kudaba sending it out. A little contact there. No foul called. We play on. And on the back side, the Red Raiders' Katie Jacobs trying to work it out. Ball last touch there from Jenna Voigten of Laurel Highlands going out. And Uniontown with the throw in. Going in there to Nina Brown. Brown a little open space, but Radcliffe steps in. Here's Jocelyn Radcliffe, a little poke. Coming free again is Chido, and Katie Chido with the brace, making it 2 to nothing. Laurel Highlands. So Chido, who scored at the 37-54 mark of the first half, gets her second at the 33-39 mark. And just like that, it's 2 nothing. Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. As the Mustangs try to keep their long winning streak alive over their Crosstown rivals, Laurel Highlands looking for their 18th straight win over Uniontown in the series. The last Red Raider win have to go all the way back to 2009. We mentioned both of these teams with first-year head coaches, Denny Marzano, the new head coach of the Laurel Highlands Mustangs, also coaching with the Pittsburgh Riverhounds Academy. Got the Connellsville program started about 25 years ago. Has a rich soccer history. I think it'll be a nice addition here at Laurel Highlands. Here's Journey Greer, a little poke back in traffic there to Ellie Mancini. Mancini, a talented freshman. We've seen her over the years down at the South Union Township Rec Center. Trying to step up here and make an impact early on. Played back there to McLean. And the Mustangs get the ball back again. Madison, touch back to Addie Nose. And pushed ahead and cleared out there by Georgia Holes, another South Union Rec Center product. Down to Radcliffe here on the near side. Jocelyn, nice little sidestep there around Matanski. Radcliffe staying with it. Look out here. Radcliffe shot on goal. A nice save, but not covered. And Radcliffe finds the rebound and makes it 3 to nothing. Laurel Highlands. So Kudaba made the initial save. Radcliffe stayed with it. And Jocelyn Radcliffe the goal here at the 32-32 mark of the first half to make it 3 to nothing. Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. So all Mustangs here early on. Laurel Highlands 
looking to improve to 2-0 and on the season after an opening win on Saturday on the same field over Brownsville by a score of 5-2. to Mustangs will hit the road on Saturday and travel to Bell Vernon to take on the Leopards before playing Albert Gallatin. Their first home match won't be until a week from today, next Thursday against Trinity. And as they're still trying to get the turf curated, teams have yet to been able to practice on the new turf over at Laurel Highlands High School. I know some of the soccer community weren't exactly thrilled with the color of some of the soccer lines being painted more of a dark blue black color instead of the yellow you traditionally see so we'll have to wait until we get our first match especially under the lights to see if that plays a factor at all with how hard some of the soccer lines will be will to be picked up on the field and if they'll blend in at all with the field complex Mustang staying with the ball leading three to nothing we play just over eight minutes Here's Madison McLean on the rush again here for Laurel Highland. Sending it off to her right to Chido, looking for the hat trick. Chido staying with the defenders all around. Union Tell looking to clear. McLean finds it and makes it 4 to nothing. Madison McLean getting her first of the evening. Here at the 31-16 mark of the first half. And the Mustangs spreading around the scoring now. Two from Chido, one from Radcliffe. And now one from Madison McLean. And after these two schools play to a 4-1 to one decision, last October, Laurel Highlands, the Mustangs leaving no doubt about this one early on, already leading 4 to nothing, And now looking for more, and it's on to Radcliffe again. Radcliffe, another little touchdown the near wing to McLean. Madison McLean trying to get around Madansky. McLean staying with it. A little cross out in front. And that one scooped up by Carmen Kudova. Kudova takes it to the top of the box and sends it down the far side to Allison Novak. Novak trying to work around Hannah Newman. Newman deflects it out. Mustangs looking to make a pair of substitutions. Allie knows. Checking in here along with Emma Santor. Santor a senior. Allie knows a sophomore. Not going to be allowed to check in here until the next Mustang throw in as Uniontown has possession for the moment. Laurel Highlands has probably controlled about 90% of the ball here so far as Madison McLean again, low ball coming forward. And the race is on. It will be scooped up here by Kudaba. She beats Kate Chido to the ball. And Kudaba looking for another clear. Headed down there by Addie Nose. Coming over to the near boundary in front of the Red Raider bench. Nose sending it out. It'll be a throw in here for Casey Vajalkovic and Uniontown. Vajalkovic losing the ball there to Jocelyn Radcliffe. Radcliffe, another sidestep there of Matansky. Radcliffe coming free. Radcliffe gets her second of the match. And it's 5 0 Laurel Highlands. Second goal for Jocelyn Radcliffe. Now 5 to nothing. Goal occurring at the 29-37 mark of the first half. Laurel Highlands looking sharp here to start the 2021 campaign. Back to action here again. A low ball knocked down. That one was knocked down by Emma Santor, just entered the match. McLean again. Low ball coming down here to Alley Nose. Nose in traffic. Trying to reverse it there as Vajalkovic and the ball sent out of play. It should be a corner here for Laurel Highlands. 29-03. Left here in the first half. All Mustangs looking for more here. Corner taken by Chido, and that went right off the chest there of Kudaba, who was able to cover and then make the save. That wasn't easy in traffic for the sophomore keeper, Carmen Kudaba. Again played back to center. Knocked down there by Hannah Newman, who angles it off on the near side. A little touch forward from Allie Nose. Pushed up from McLean, back to Alley again. Chases it down here on the near side. 
Allie looking across. Nobody home. And Sonata play by Uniontown's Katie Jacobs. Feel free if you're watching our live stream here today. Feel free to check in. Bobby Ruggieri saying go Mustangs. Rooting on Laurel Highlands. Hello to Bobby. And there's Chido with the corner kick again, going all the way through on the backside. Jeno Voigten trying to knock it down, and the ball will go out of play. It should be a Uniontown throw, and it will. Red Raider substitution here is back into the match. Lizzie Perkins and Julia Mills seeing her first match action. And it's taking a seat here on the Uniontown side. Maddie Basinger along with Kaylee Matansky. 5-0 if you're just joining us. Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. Two from Chido, two from Radcliffe. And Madison McLean also with a goal on the Laurel Highlands side. Allison Novak had her pocket picked on the far side. Julie Cooper coming back here for Laurel Highlands. Crosses looking for Chido. Good block out in front there from Emily Gammon. Mustangs try to stay with it here on the near side. Keep possession. A little poke back to the top of the 18. McLean there again. Reverses. Sends it off to her right. And that's the Mustangs. Ellie Mancini who blasts it off the crossbar. The play whistled down. Not sure what the call was all about, but nonetheless, it'll be a free kick here for Uniontown as the Mustangs bring Lindsey Klink into the match and freshman Brianna Marzano, who's the daughter of the head coach, Denny Marzano. Denny assisted this year by Jeff Kreinbrook. Again, both Denny and Jeff coaching the Pittsburgh Riverhounds Academy as well. They have plenty of coaching experience. Tammy Marzano. Denny's wife, a statistician for the Mustangs this year. Carmen Kudabo put it down here for another goal kick. Kudabo, a little line drive. Mustangs knock it down here again. Emma Santor, a little touch back there to Ellie Mancini with a blast, and the freshman Mancini scoring from 25 yards out. So welcome to varsity soccer, Ellie Mancini. A goal from 25 yards out. And Kudaba had no chance at that one. Score here at the 25-45 mark of the first half. Increasing the Laurel Highlands lead now to 6 to nothing over Uniontown. Mustangs extremely impressive to start the 2021 campaign. And they'll reset again from their back line. No one home on that little poke. The Red Raiders look for possession, but again, pressure on the Laurel Highland side, trying to win the ball back. Picked up there by Lindsey Klink. Try to work it off to her left there to Alley Nose. Ball will roll out of play here in the near sun. It's trying to chase it down there, Jenna Voighton for Laurel Highlands. Lizzie Perkins will take the throw in here for Uniontown. Perkins sends it in, goes right there to Jenna Voighton. Voighton hits the deck. And I got hip checked there by both Perkins and Katie Jacobs. Mustangs stay with it on the far side, Julie Cooper. A little poke up there to Hannah Newman. Sending it low out in front there. Alley knows in the box and knows fires and put it off the side of the goal. Be a goal kick here for Uniontown. But the Mustangs, six early goals here in the opening 16 minutes. Two from Chido, two from Radcliffe, Madison McLean a goal. And also Ellie Mancini. The freshman getting a goal. Mustangs on top, six to nothing. Perfect weather, though, for high school soccer tonight. Game time temperature about 68 degrees. Had 
Some thunderstorms in the area earlier on today and another opportunity here for Laurel Highlands. Alley Nose, Nose on the run, the shot and the goal. So Alley Nose getting her first of the night. Off the Mustang bench. Score occurring here at the 23-46 mark of the first half. It's now seven to nothing, Laurel Highlands. And the Red Raiders will try to get things restarted. Isaiah McCune to put it down. Red Raiders try to set something up there on the far side with Allison Novak on the far wing. Novak a little stop. Cross out in front. And some good pressure. Again there from Zaya McCune. As Uniontown trying to get a little action here inside the Laurel Highlands box. Ball deflected forward. And on the run here is Jenna Voighton. Voighton a little poke up there to Alley Nose and Voighton staying with it. Mustang showing some nice pressure. You also have Brianna Marzano, the freshman, down on the far side as well. They called off sides on that break. And good to see Laurel Highlands going to their bench so early, leading 7 to nothing. Mustang's getting set to check in Chloe DeGia, number 6. And 21, Emily Bolotti, another freshman. Union's out the ball on the far side. Trying to push it up there to Allison Novak. Novak trying to stay with it. Some pressure there from Hannah Newman. Newman, Mustang senior, has been another mainstay in the Laurel Highlands lineup over the years. Lexi Taylor there for the Mustangs. Touch forward again to Allie Nose. A little give and go. Lizzie Perkins breaking that up for Uniontown. And getting upended there was Lexi Taylor as Lizzie Perkins came sliding in. And a foul actually called on Laurel Highlands. Yeah, free kick here for Georgia Holtz. Georgia, nice boot there. She's going to be a good player for the Red Raiders. This one played back to Jaden Rulvacab. I haven't had to call her name much so far tonight. And sent out a play there off of Lindsey Klinken out. And again, we'll have all of these Mustang games that we carry this year in the South Union Township Sports Network live stream for you. First year that we're able to live stream all of the high school soccer games. Looking forward to that. I have to thank our live stream sponsors again, the Sprouse Insurance Group in Uniontown and Agent David Hughes, United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, Smith Lewis Chess CPAs in Uniontown, Jason Scott, South Union Township Supervisor, Southwestern Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Uniontown, Zebley Mahal of White, Uniontown Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys, UPMC, Centers for Rehab Services, O'Wail and Smith Drive, Jim Burns Director, South Union Township Supervisors, Robert Schiff, Bauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, and Chessler's Fine Furniture, 601 Pittsburgh Road, Uniontown, in front of the Fayette Plaza. Brian Morozak alongside Jerry Dupe, midway through this first half. Laurel Highlands leading Uniontown 7 0. Lexi Taylor sending it in. Now on the break there, Alley knows. A good battle there with Kaylee Matansky. It's played back there to Carmen Kudova. And Carmen will take it to the top of the box. And a low push there. Red Raiders able to keep possession. Try to set up the attack down on the far side. You have Mackenzie Lucy trying to lead the attack, number 10. Lucy, senior striker for Uniontown. Mustangs played it out, so the Red Raiders keeping possession, working it left to right is Nina Brown. will take this throw in. 
Brown lobs it in. Little header there from Addy Nose. Both Nose sisters out there for the Mustangs right now. And Addy, another little block, another cross. Going wide and out of play. Be a goal kick here for Rulva Caba. Hurry rolls off the tongue. You're going to see Jaden back for her junior season for Laurel Highlands. Has done a nice job in her first two years playing for the Mustangs. The low line drive there, knocked down by Maddie ba Bassinger. Maddie pushing it ahead there, and a little spin from Zaya McCune. Played back in Rula Cava's direction. And Jaden will give her girls an opportunity to get down the field before a high lob. That's sent forward. Jenna Voighton looking for it. Headed there by the Red Raiders' Kaylee Matansky. They'll go out of play on the far side. And the Laurel Highlands boys also off to a nice start this season. They won their opener over Bentworth on Saturday. That game played down at Connellsville. And they're actually in action tonight down at Thomas Jefferson. It'll be a 7.30 start, so good luck to Jerry Rogers' squad down at TJ. They'll play at Bell Vernon on Saturday afternoon and have another match at Trinity. So they'll actually have four matches in before we see them here on the South Union Township Sports Network coming up on Wednesday night at home against Ringgold for their home opener. But they'll have a lot of home action over the second half of the season. Stoppage here. And it should be a corner kick here for Laurel Highlands. Mustangs waiting for somebody to come over and take it. The alley knows. You've already had some mass substitutions, especially on the Laurel Highlands side. So some of these girls maybe not 100% sure of their role when you have these corner situations. Now we're going out of play here in the near side. You also have Kylie Martin, number 15, seeing her first match action. Red Raiders triggered in. Vajakelvich sending it in. Emily Gammon now reload. Now we're going over the head of Zaya McCune. On the near wing to Allison Novak. Novak looking again for McCune in traffic. It's won back and cleared out by Lexi Taylor of Laurel Highlands. Fall sports season certainly underway. High school football tomorrow. Laurel Highlands. We'll be traveling to Brownsville. First time those two schools have met since 1995. We'll have the action here on the South Union Township Sports Network for you. Laurel Highlands football team looking to get to 3-0 on the season for the first time since 1976. Actually, our colleague on the South Union Township Sports Network, Gary Frankhauser, it was his senior year playing football for Laurel Highlands. That's how long ago it was. And the interesting thing about that year, the Mustangs started off 2-0 and actually won by forfeit over Brownsville in week three to get to 3-0. And, of course, who's on the schedule this week? Brownsville. But the last indication, that game is on for tomorrow night. So the Mustangs are going to have to earn it on the field tomorrow, again, from historic Redstone Field on the natural grass surface. Talking to Laurel Highlands head coach Rich Cole saw earlier on in the week. He said it's probably the first time in five or six years since they played a game on the natural grass surface. But they've been practicing on the grass surface, though, all year with the Mustangs getting new turf this year. All the practices have been on the grass. And they likely won't be able to practice on the turf field until next week. Coley DeGia to take this throw in for Laurel Highlands. 14-08 left here in the first half. 
Mustangs a 7 nothing lead over Uniontown. And again, we'll have Mustangs soccer for you again next week. Both games scheduled as of now to start at 7.30. Wednesday night, the Laurel Highlands boys hosting Ringgold. Thursday, Laurel Highlands girls hosting Trinity. Mustangs looking for another one here and just sending it wide on the far side on that run. I believe that was Lindsey Klink. Either Klink there or Allie knows. That will be another goal kick. As Katie Jacobs checks in for Nina Brown on the Uniontown side. The Uniontown boys will actually be in action later on tonight. They'll play here at Bill Power Stadium against Trinity. That game will start as soon as this girls' contest ends. Rosie Amoroso, a little touch there and a cover from Carmen Kudaba. Kudaba on a little liner. Going off the body of Chloe DeGia. And the Red Raiders looking for a break. Allison Novak. Novak going shoulder to shoulder there with DeGia. And DeGia trying to reverse the ball. Novak staying with a good battle between those two. Now a little collision. As the Mustangs find the loose ball, Lexi Taylor coming back. Taylor back through center. Here's Taylor staying with it. Might have been offsides on the touchdown to Amoroso. It was. And a play called back. Give me a free kick here for Uniontown. And both of these teams playing conference matches this year after Uniontown won as an independent last year. That occurred mainly because Uniontown said they weren't playing any fall sports and then a couple of weeks later decided they were going to play fall sports. WPIL retracted their schedule when they made the in initial announcement, so the only way they could play was as an independent. Look out here, opportunity for Allison Novak. Novak, top of the 18 with a blast, and Rubacaba extending to get a piece of it and deflecting it wide. Good run there from Novak and Rubacaba. Not very big, but extending her size there to make the save for the Mustangs defensively. They're actually going to say it was not off of Rubacaba going out, so Jaden did not get a piece of it. It's going to be ruled a goal kick. I thought she might have touched it. Mustangs will take it. They'll have possession. Jaden will put it down. And go low here on the near side to Kylie Martin. Touched by Uniontown's Maddie Basinger. Into open space. Mackenzie Lucy is there. Three Mustang defenders around. Lucy trying to stay with it. And Lexi Taylor getting possession. Again, angling it off there to Kylie Martin on the near boundary. Martin trying to stay with it, but it goes off of Martin and outs. It'll be a throw in here for Maddie Basinger in Uniontown. And Basinger will pull it back to Bajalkovic, the sophomore defender. Playing hacky sack with it there on the side of the box. And finally, the Mustangs get possession there with Lindsey Klink. Klink trying to come forward. Nice little block down there from Georgia Holes. Holes staying with it. Defenders all around. Klink had it for a moment coming back for the Mustangs. Zaya McCune steps back in for Uniontown. Played back over there to Georgia Holes again before it's cleared out by Kylie Martin. On the Red Raider back line there to Emily Gammon. Played low. Mustangs pick up possession again. Jasmine Lemus with a touch. Jasmine with it back again. Collision there with Perkins. Ball comes free but ruled off sides again on the break. As Brianna Marzano. Was trying to come free on that far wing for Laurel Highlands. 9-15 left here in the first half. 7-0.
Laurel Highlands leading Uniontown. Brian Morosak alongside Jerry Dupay here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Nice to have you along with us as we start our high school girls soccer season. Red Raiders an opportunity here in the box. And a nice defensive play there from Lexi Taylor blocking the ball a little bit, letting it roll, roll back to Ruba Caba, who's able to cover. And a reminder, if you're watching this game on Atlantic Broadband or Armstrong Cave, I'd like to let you know that all these South Union Township Sports Network games and programs now available live online, easy to find. Just log on to the South Union Township Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash South Union TV. You can sign up and get notifications anytime we go live here on the South Union Township Sports Network. And you'll see a lot of those live notifications here during the fall season over the next couple of weeks with soccer and football certainly in full force. Before you know it, we'll be getting into the South Union Township Rec Center season as well and I think they're planning not only a full season of rec center soccer but some fall rec center youth basketball as well. I know Nick Barchak our colleagues been itching wanting to do some of those games. You get an opportunity here Nick here soon low shot and a goal here for Uniontown. And I think that was Georgia Holes number 13 that got it. So Georgia Holes Putting Uniontown on the scoreboard. They call her the peach up here, and it's 7-1. Goal occurring at the 7-20 mark of the first half. And the Red Raiders packed within 7-1. Trying to get a few more back. You can just tell Holes is a player. We've seen a lot of her in the rec center league over the last couple of years. And she was always a goal scorer. So no surprise to see her light the lamp here at Bill Power Stadium. Yeah, you need to out back to within six now. It's 7 1. 6 40 left before halftime. Mustangs trigger it in. Might have been a handball there. Not called. We play on, and Lindsey Klink a little touch forward. As the Mustangs look for a little open space, Rosie Amoroso on the run. Not going to be able to catch up to it. Uniontown to make a change. As Nina Brown will check in. Maddie Basinger checking out on the Uniontown side. This one deflecting back over to Nina Brown. Bounced ahead on the run. Look out here. Uniontown looking for another one. In open space on the break. to Jasmine Lemus. A little low roller. Scooped up there by Carmen Kudaba. For Uniontown. Kudaba bouncing it over the head there of Nina Brown. But Brown able to regain and break down the near wing. Brown trying to stay with it. Again, Lexi Taylor stepping in. Taylor's had to cover a lot of ground in this match for Laurel Highland so far. Getting a little help there from Kylie Martin. Goes back again to Lexi Taylor. Again, Nina Brown is there. And they're going to roll it off of Taylor and out. This so will be Uniontown's ball. Nina Brown to send it back in as we approach the four-minute mark. Of this first half, Mustangs leading at 7-1, but Uniontown with the ball right now. It's Georgia Holes who had the only Uniontown goal so far in this match. Was battling. Emily Gammon, another freshman, also stepping in. Played back there to Martin, a little poke off of Gammon and sent high again from Jasmine Lemus. And headed along by Ali Nose. Nose trying to stay with it. Nice little sequence there. Red Raiders win it back there from Matanski, who plays it forward again to Georgia Holes. And Holes a little one-hopper scooped up there by Ruva Kaba. A little sidewinder there from Georgia. And Ruva Kaba bouncing it back to center again. Touchdown there by Lizzie Perkins. 
Mustangs win the ball back. Bailey Lemansky, oh, got upended big time. Lemansky goes down, ran into Matansky, and hopefully Bailey's all right. You can tell Bailey a little slow in getting to her feet after she took a shot. On the break, we'll get an injury timeout. Occurring with 2.32 left here in the first half. We'll take a break here as well on the South Union Township Sports Network. They have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses, and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Choose from many companies, including Lazy Boy, Best, King Hickory, Hammery, Lancer, Wildwood, Von Bassett, and White Dove. Chesler's also services what they sell. Stop into Chesler's Fine Furniture, Route 51 north of Uniontown, and see Kim, Christy, Ted, and Rich. They'll be happy to help you with all of your needs. Chesler's Furniture, where customers send their friends. Good to see Bailey Lemansky walking off the field under her own power. Walking it off. I think she'll be all right. And a little one-hopper coming in there again to Carmen Kudaba. Carmen able to make the save. So 2.20 left here in the first half. And that one knocked down again by Lindsey Klink. Off to her left to Rosie Amoroso. Touch there from Ellie Mancini, who's back in. Had a goal earlier, but setting this one wide. Now we go under two minutes. Left here in the first half. Maybe a goal kick here for Kudaba and the Red Raiders. Knocked down again by Ellie Mancini. Mancini stepping up back into the play. A little cross out in front. And a good break up there from Gammon. Play was whistled down. I think we had offsides again. Another free kick here for Uniontown. And the Uniontown boys will be in action later on tonight against Trinity. If you're in the area and want to watch some Good soccer action. Come on out and support the Uniontown boys later on tonight. Mentioned the Laurel Highlands boys also in action on the road to Thomas Jefferson tonight. Taking on the Jags. Go under a minute now. Mustangs with the ball. Already seven goals scored in this first half. Looking for another one here. Emily Ritz. Ball knocked out of play, ruled off of Emily and out. Union Sounds ball. Matansky taking the throw in. That one went off of Chloe DeGia and out. Final 34 seconds now in this first half. Mustangs looking to improve to 2 0 on the season. Neither run here, looking for another goal before the half. And coming out, nice save there from Kudaba. And a shot there from Mancini. Mancini trying to regain, down to five seconds left. Chloe DeGio with that blast, and at the whistle, that one going off the post and wide there on the shot from Ali No. So at halftime, it's Laurel Highland 7, Uniontown 1. Stay tuned. We'll recap the first half scoring for you right after this here on the South Union Township Sports Network.
Sometimes good people make bad decisions, and they end up in trouble with the law. Hi, this is attorney Mark Mahalov of Zebley Mahalov & White in Uniontown. If you're one of those people who found yourself facing legal issues, including minor criminal offenses, traffic, DUI, or other summary offenses, we are here to help you. Many times, these mistakes don't have to ruin your life. One bad decision does not make you a bad person. Let us help you fix the problem and move on with your life. Call our office today at 724-439-9200. Zebley Mahalov & White, your local attorneys helping local people. If you made a bad decision that has you in legal trouble, make a good decision now by allowing our firm to represent you. Zebley Mahalov & White in Uniontown and at zeblaw.com. Zebley Mahalov & White, local attorneys helping local people. Let us fix your life. Zebley Mahalov & White. Dr. Fraser Stokes. Did you know that colorectal cancer is the second leading cancer killer in America or that it can be prevented by removing polyps during a 30-minute colonoscopy? At SWGI, our board-certified gastroenterologists, Drs. Ruth Hart Calabrese Hoppe and I, encourage you to consider a screening colonoscopy. Call 724-437-7677 or visit swgispecialists.com. We're back here at halftime at Bill Power Stadium. 7-1, to one, your halftime score. Laurel Highlands leading Union Town. Let's take a look at the first half scoring. Katie Chido got things started off for the Mustangs. A goal at the 37-54 mark of the first half to make it one to nothing. Laurel Highlands. Then Chido getting the brace, her second of the match, at the 33-39 mark of the first half to make it 2 to nothing. Mustangs. Jocelyn Radcliffe adding... Her first of two at the 32-32 mark of the first half was 3 to nothing. Laurel Highlands. The Madison McLean joined in on the scoring. Just over a minute later, goal at the 31-16 mark of the first half to make it 4 to nothing. Mustangs. Jocelyn Radcliffe getting her second of the night. The 29-37 mark of the first half was 5 nothing. Laurel Highlands. And maybe the goal of the night, Ellie Mancini from 25 yards out. The freshman getting her first of the evening to make it 6 to nothing. Laurel Highlands. That goal occurring at the... 25-45 mark of the first half. The Mustangs made it 7 to nothing on Allie Noe's goal at the 23-46 mark of the first half. And Georgia Holes getting a goal for Uniontown at the 7-20 mark of the first half. 7-1. to one. Laurel Highlands over Uniontown that year. Halftime score. The South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to live stream this Laurel Highlands girls soccer game for you, including the Sprouse Insurance Group in Uniontown and agent David Hughes, United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, Smith Lewis Chess CPAs in Uniontown, Jason Scott, South Union Township, Township Supervisor, Southwestern Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Uniontown, Zebley Mahalov and White, Uniontown Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys, UPMC Centers for Rehab Services in Uniontown on Wayland Smith Drive, Jim Burns Director, South Union Township Supervisors Robert Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon and Jason Scott, and Chessler's Furniture, 601 Pittsburgh Road, Uniontown in front of the Fayette Plaza, Rich and Ted Lacey, proud soccer supporters of the South Union Township Sports Network. Also like to remind you, if you happen to be catching a replay of this match on Atlantic Broadband or Armstrong Cable, that all of our South Union Township Sports Network games and programs are available now live online. It's easy to find. Just log on to the South Union Township Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash South Union TV, and you can sign up to get notifications anytime that we go live. Again, here at halftime, it's Laurel Highland 7, Union Town 1. Second half match action comes your way next here on the South Union Township Sports Network. The key to success in life is teamwork. On and off the field, in the workplace, in the home, in our schools. Teamwork gets it done. The world of competitive sports offers many good things, the most important of which is teamwork. Individual talent may win a few games, but teamwork wins championships. Go team! Go Laurel Highlands Mustangs! This positive message has been brought to you and paid for by Jason Scott.
Chesler's Furniture at 601 Pittsburgh Street, Uniontown has been in business since 1950 and has a wide variety of furniture for all of your needs. At Chesler's, they have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses, and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Choose for many attorneys from all over the state and nation at Chesler's Furniture at 601 Pittsburgh Street, Uniontown has been in business since 1950 and has a wide variety of furniture for all of your needs. At Chesler's, they have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses, and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Choose from many companies, including Lazy Boy, Best, King Hickory, Hammery, Lancer, Wildwood, Von Bassett, and White Dove. Chesler's also services what they sell. Stop into Chesler's Fine Furniture, Route 51 north of Uniontown, and see Kim, Christy, Ted, and Rich. They'll be happy to help you with all of your needs. Chesler's Furniture, where customers send their friends. Attorneys from all over the state and nation advertise in southwestern Pennsylvania for personal injury and workers' comp cases, but most of them send their assistants to do the legwork. You might not even meet your attorney until your first hearing. We're local attorneys, Davis and Davis. We meet directly with our clients, including a free consultation, and there are no fees until you receive money on your case. If you've been injured, call Davis and Davis, representing you and your neighbors yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Call 724-437-2799. Smith, Lewis, and Chess, CPAs of Uniontown, would like to wish the Laurel Hines girls soccer team and their coaches on having a successful soccer season this year. Some things just go together, like bread and butter. Blue jeans and Saturdays, best friends and phone calls. And a great match, you and discounts from Erie Insurance. It's like this. Safety features in your car will have you paying less for your auto insurance. And pay off your Erie Auto policy all at once, and you'll save up to 7% more. On your homeowner's policy, you earn discounts that start at age 46 and go up each time you celebrate a birthday. There are more discounts, too, for things like home safety features and even teenage drivers. And the savings keep adding up. When you have your auto and home covered with Erie, you get a discount. Buy a life policy with us, and the savings can get even better. At Erie Insurance, above all in service means making life a little easier on you and on your wallet. Your Erie agent is waiting for you. Your local Erie agent is Sprowls Insurance Group, 724-437-9812, or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Discount terms and amounts may vary by state. See your local Erie agent for details. UPMC Centers for Rehab Services on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, sprains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724-437-7500. Back here at Bill Power Stadium, just about ready to start the second half. The Laurel Highlands Mustangs leading the Uniontown Red Raiders by a score of 7-1. to one. This is the first of 14 conference games that these two schools will play this year. Eight teams in Section 2 and 3A, including Connellsville, Greensburg, Salem, Trinity, Bell Vernon, Albert Gallatin, Ringgold, Laurel Highlands, and Uniontown. And these are actually the last two schools to play a conference game. So far this year, Connellsville, Greensburg, Salem, Trinity all 1-0. Bell Vernon, Albert Gallatin, Ringgold all 0-1. So these two schools will certainly be busy over the next six to seven weeks. Playing a lot of conference soccer action. The top four teams will make the WPIL playoffs. The Mustangs actually thought last year they were going to miss out. Finished in fifth place in the conference, but due to a 
COVID situation. I think it was Ringgold that was unable to participate in the WPIL playoffs. The Mustangs got in as the fourth place qualifier out of the conference due to another school having to withdraw. Laurel Highlands working left to right here in the second half. Long shadows now on the field as the sun begins to set. And the Mustangs in firm control of this game, leading 7-1. to one. And we will have a continuous clock here in the second half as the Mustangs led 7 to nothing at one juncture of this game. Not that you normally have too many clock stoppages for high school soccer anyways. And there's a little blast from Uniontown's Georgia Holes going wide. And Laurel Highlands has also made a keeper change. I believe that's Hannah Bohr now in goal, 46. If I'm wrong, Jerry can correct me down there. I believe that is Bohr now in goal on the Laurel Highlands side with Rula Kaba just giving up one goal in the first half and the lead at six. The Mustangs have some opportunity to experiment. And Jerry confirms it is Hannah Bohr, number 46, in goal for the Mustangs. And Laurel Highlands will have a free kick here from Hannah Newman. Newman will blast it away. And you still have some starters back out there on the Laurel Highlands side. Obviously, Coach Marzano wanting to give his starters a couple of minutes at least here in the second half. Another play ruled off sides. I think actually pulled them about 11 or 12 minutes into the first half. After the Mustangs gained firm control of this game. But you still have to give your kids some minutes. And the Mustangs will have a day off tomorrow and then travel to Bell Vernon on Saturday. So they'll have plenty of fresh legs for that game on the gold turf. Not at James Weir Stadium. I believe the girls playing at 11.30 a.m. on Saturday in the heat of the day. Boys will play at 3.30 We'll run down there on the Uniontown side. That's Hannah Bohr now in goal. A little collision there at midfield between Shido and Emily Gammon. And the foul went on Shido. And Georgia Holes will take the free kick. Holes angles it here on the near side, trying to set up a little run here for Allison Novak. Hannah Newman trying to clear it. And actually touched out by Julie Cooper. Nina Brown re-enters on the Uniontown side. She replace Julia Mills. Katie Jacobs will work it in. The Mustangs quickly gain control there as in traffic. Ellie Mancini trying to break it forward. Three on three coming back and a low ball down to Jenna Voighton. Voighton on the near wing. Has Radcliffe on the doorstep. Will take the shot into the side of the net. Might have been better off centering that because Radcliffe would have had an empty goal out in front if she would have sent the cross off to her left. Four minutes into the second half. Still 7-1. Mustangs over the Red Raiders. And a low ball there from Carmen Kudaba and a collision out in front. And Jocelyn Radcliffe a little slow in getting up there on the Mustangs side. Actually collided with Kaylee Matansky on the Union Sound side. Will be a corner kick here for Kate Shido and the Mustangs. Kate only a sophomore. But her sister starred at Laurel Highlands as well. That one headed out of play, and Kate will reload. Kaylee Matansky there heading it out. China will get another crack at it here on the corner. Yeah. 
This one lobbed back to the top of the 18 and a little header taken there from Jeno Voiton cleared back out. Radcliffe stepping back in on the Mustang side between defenders. Little poke forward. We'll play on and now we have a Red Raider down. McLean takes the shot and sends it wide, but a Red Raider down on the play. Fajalkovic down, Casey Fajalkovic. Sophomore down on the Uniontown side. So an injury timeout with 34-46 left here in the second half. 7-1 Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. We'll take a quick timeout here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Mustangs from the South Union Township Supervisors, Rick Vernon, Jason Scott, and Bob Schiffbar. Back here at Bill Power Stadium. Smith, Lewis, and Chess, CPAs of Uniontown, would like to wish the Laurel Hines girls soccer team and their coaches on having a successful soccer season this year. Casey Filjakovic being helped off the field. We certainly send our best to her. Coach Michael Weistepec actually carrying Casey off the field, so we hope she's all right. Now being attended to on the near sidelines. There'll be a goal kick here for Carmen Kudaba. We'll get this match restarted with 34-39 left here in the second half. And we're going to have a foul called here. I think Julie Cooper pushing down one of the Red Raiders. And Georgia holds to take the free kick off the body of Julie Cooper. And off to her left. It's played there by Nina Brown. Reflected back to Georgia Holes again. Going low. Trying to set up the break here for Allison Novak. Novak fighting off Hannah Newman. Newman hit the deck. Red Raiders will keep possession. And Allison Novak sends it in. Red Raiders try to go into the corner. Newman there for Laurel Highland sending it out of play. Novak to reload. Back into the box after a little deflection. Ball pokes high. And out of it there for Laurel Highlands was Journey Greer. Over to Jeno Voiton and sent out of play and another injury behind the play. And it was Georgia Holes that got banged up, but she's all right. It's going to stay in the game. And then deflect it out. Even though the score is 7 to 1, these two teams still playing physical out on the field. Just over seven minutes into the second half. Mustangs looking to break back there with Ellie Mancini. Looking for Chido on the front line, but Holes takes it back there for Uniontown. Good defense from Ellie Mancini getting back into the play. Mustangs reset again there with Madison Niccolo. Angled off to McLean. Has a little open space ahead and is going to take it. Here's Madison on the run. Pulled back around Nina Brown. Sent forward as the play on sides. No. And now Greer's going to step up. 
Laurel Highlands pulled back. They thought it was offsides. Greer stepped up. There was no whistle. And the ball ruled off of Uniontown and out. And Julie Cooper to take the throw in here for the Mustangs. Cooper down to Kate Chido. Chido looking for the hat trick. And Chido stepping in. Big collision there with Carmen Kudaba. Chido's down. Kudaba's down. You have to think they're going to whistle the play down. And hopefully both of those girls are all right. As Kudaba, the Uniontown keeper, collided with Chido. Especially in a 7-1 game, you don't want to see a keeper or one of the top Mustang scores go down. You have all kinds of personnel coming out now, checking on both Kudaba and Chido. Clock stop, 31-48 left here in the second half, 7-1. Laurel Highlands over Uniontown with a couple of injuries on the field. We'll step aside for another timeout as well here on the South Union Township Sports Network. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Have you ever felt something stick in your chest when swallowing? This can be caused by a narrowing in your esophagus from inflammation, scar tissue, or rarely a tumor. At SWGI, our board-certified gastroenterologist, Dr. Ruth Hart Calabrese Hoppy and I specialize in the care of swallowing disorders. Call 724-437-7677 or visit swgispecialist.com. Getting back underway, and the good news is both Kate Chido and Carmen Kudaba able to walk off the field under their own power. And I would have to guess the Mustangs up 7-1. That'll be the last time we see Chido on the field here today. Raylan Ford, though, did take Kudaba's spot in goal on the Uniontown side. And now Laurel Highlands testing Ford, putting it right off the post. On the rush, so welcome to the game, Raylan Ford. Getting a quick shot about 30 seconds after taking the field. Now as Ali knows, who led that break for the Mustangs. They're going to put this down for a goal kick. There was some discussion which side of the flag the ball went out. If it was left of the flag, it should have been a throw-in. They're going to say it must have been right of the flag, so putting it down for a goal kick. And Jenna Voighton knocks that one down quickly. Over to nose, top of the box. McLean, another touch. And a shot there from Radcliffe, and the save from Raylan Ford. So Ford getting tested here early on for Uniontown. And a little rollout, got to be careful with those. Radcliffe finds it again. Radcliffe looking for the hat trick, just sends that one wide. Another goal kick here for Union Sam. Brian Morozak alongside Jerry Dupay. Nice to have you along with us here on the South Union Township Sports Network. High school girls soccer section opener for Union Town and Laurel Highlands. And we'll have a pair of games for you next week. Laurel Highlands boys on Wednesday at 7.30, taking on Ringgold, and then the Laurel Highlands girls in action coming up on Thursday nights. That'll be one week from tonight. Again, both of those games will start at 7.30. The Laurel Highlands girls on Thursday, again, hosting Trinity. Mustangs have possession right now. Going through Greer, looking for Voighton. The pick back up on the other side there by Allison Novak, who's played well on the Uniontown side today. Greer again. Was Voighton offside? Yes, she was. You can see the offsides pretty well from up here in the press box. It's 
Of course, there's two referees out there. You don't have the advantage of having basically two linesmen on each side with the flags up and then a referee in the middle. So these guys ref for the match have to cover a lot of ground here as well. Throw in here from Julie Cooper into Madison McLean. It's pressure there by Allison Novak. Mustangs can't keep it in play there on the far side. And you need to will take a throw in. Well, it's 12 minutes into the second half, 28 minutes of match time remaining. It was 7-1 at halftime. And still your score right now, Laurel Highland 7, Uniontown 1. Played back there by Uniontown's Nina Brown. Back to Hannah Newman. Now Jenna Voighton down the near wing. Collision there with Allison Novak. I think we've seen more physical play here in the second half from the six-goal margin on the scoreboard than we saw early on in this match. And they credit the kids on both sides for still playing hard. Sometimes when you have a wide margin like that, it's easy to take your foot off the gas. Madison Niccolo. Want to get rollouts. Throw in here from Allison Novak. Hannah Newman went off the flag and out of play. Yeah, corner here for Union Sam. Lobbed all the way through on the back side. And able to track that one down was Maddie Bassinger. Mustangs trying to go quickly here. They're going to have to reload here on the throw in. And Kate Chido is going to check back in. Good to see she's all right. Thought they might give her the rest of the afternoon off. She'll come in for Jocelyn Radcliffe. And good to see Kate back on the field. And hopefully the rest of this final 26 minutes will go by injury free on both sides. Journey Greer almost stripped away. Mustangs keep possession, and they're going to say this is on sides. Journey Greer breaking back. Here's Greer into the box, and a little push there with Nina Brown. And Brown doing a nice job there along with Raylan Ford. Keeping that ball out of the back of the net. And Nina Brown will take the goal kick here for Union Temp. Goes to Journey Greer again. Greer going low. Chido looking for the hat trick and gets it right here. So Chido, after the injury, comes back into the match and gets the hat trick here at the 24-51 mark of the second half. Carmen Kudaba also coming back into the match on the Uniontown side, so that's good news that she's all right as well, but you have to give it up for Katie Chido, hat trick. 24-50 left here in the second half to make it 8-1, to one, Mustangs. Now we're back underway. And Hannah Newman retreating. Deflected off there by Katie Jacobs. That one scooped up there by Hannah Bohr. And Bohr replaced Jaden Rulvacaba at halftime as the Laurel Highlands keeper off the head of Radcliffe. Played back off of Julie Cooper. 
Here's Cooper on the break. Cooper, a nice run here down the near boundary. A little hip check there from Matanski, but Cooper stays with it. Cooper into the box. Cooper with a shot off the post. Deflects back to Journey Greer. Greer now side of the 18, staying with it. Greer with a cross. Matanski knocks it out of play. A good little rush there from Laurel Highlands. All set up by Julie Cooper. They'll get a corner now here from the near side. Kate Shino to take it again. Little lob out in front. Radcliffe just deflected it wide. We did see some crazy high school soccer scores over the weekend. One that really caught my eye. The Fox Chapel boys defeating South Moreland by a score of 30 to nothing. To put 30 goals up in a game, just absolutely crazy. I also have to say hello to Barbie Softa. She is watching our broadcast, Jerry, all the way from Alaska today. Her great niece, Ellie Mancini, a freshman for the Mustangs. So, Barbie, thank you for checking in. Again, we'll have a lot of Laurel Highlands games here on the South Union Township Sports Network throughout the course of the season. Our next Laurel Highlands girls game again against Trinity one week from tonight, a 7.30 start. So, Barbie, I think for you in Alaska, that's about a four-hour time difference, so probably about a 3.30 start. Alaska Standard Time or Alaska Daylight Time, if I'm correct. So set your alarm for that. Here's a look at Ellie Mancini right there, number 28. Feel free to let us know where you're watching from today. Another corner kick here for Kate Chido. Chido from the corner, nice little lob, and that one just deflected high and wide. The Mustangs right on the doorstep with an opportunity there to make it 9-1. to one. And that was Mancini who almost got it, almost on cue there, Jerry. Mancini already, I think, the highlight goal of the night, scoring from 25 yards out at the 25-45 mark of the first half. That goal made it six to nothing. Barbie says it'll be early, but we'll be watching next Thursday. Appreciate her tuning in. We Julie Cooper taking this throw in. And there to Mancini. Good little battle for the ball there with Allison Novak. Played back to Hannah Newman, and that one going through Chido. And scooped up again by Carmen Kudaba. Kudaba trying to roll it out. And look out here, Chida looking for her fourth of the game. A little sidestep trying to get around. Nina Brown staying with it over to Radcliffe who gets the hat trick. So Chido a hat trick and now Radcliffe a hat trick. And it's 9-1 to Laurel Highlands over Union. Sound the Radcliffe goal occurring at the 20-20 mark of the second half. And the Mustangs' lead is eight. So big games for both Chido and Radcliffe on that Mustang front line. And the good news for Laurel Highlands, they're both sophomores. They're going to be here for a while. You start getting goal production like that this early on in their career, certainly a sign of good things to come. And you also have a player like Mancini who's out there as only a freshman. There's Hannah Newman, Mustang senior, playing it down on the far side again. Mustangs looking for more. And that's Alley Nose on the far side, playing it back. Will touch out in front. Radcliffe looking for her fourth and gets it. So four goals in this game for Jocelyn Radcliffe. And it's now 10-1. to one. Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. I think Denny Marzano might be calling off the dogs here soon. Ratcliffe's going to check out after scoring four. A 
see that a lot in the younger age divisions as well. You get four or five goals. Coach says, hey, you're done the rest of the game. You're playing defense. Good to see the solid sportsmanship and a nice cross there on the far side from Allison Novak. Sent all the way across the field. Well, Union's un unable to capitalize. And Chido now done. You get Rosie Amoroso checking in. That ball on the far side was down to Maddie Bassinger for Uniontown. Probably have the lights on here at Bill Power Stadium soon. Again, the Uniontown boys will be taking on Trinity. If you're around the area and want to watch some good boys high school soccer later on tonight, stop on out. Nice little run down the near side from Brianna Marzano. Uniontown boys lost their opener 5-2 at Washington. And this will be their conference opener here today. Seventeen oh four left here in the second half. Free kick here for Mackenzie Lucy. Julie Cooper. Press that off to her right there to Brianna Marzano. Now Cooper again is sending it over the crossbar and out. Trinity boys starting their warm up for the nightcap here. Another Mustang substitution. Emma Santor back in. That'll be the last we'll see of Madison McLean. Kudaba taking the goal kick. And a low ball forward here to Zaya McCune. Mustangs win it back again. McCune finds it. In traffic, stepping up there, Ellie Mancini, and Mancini on the run. Mancini with the blast, and Laurel Highlands making it 11 to one. Second of the game for Ellie Mancini. And the lead is 10 now for the Mustangs over the Red Raiders. So the freshman getting her second of the game. Mancini's second goal coming at the 15-30 mark of the second half. And the lead again at 10. Allison Novak having it knocked down. A little run forward there from Emma Santor. Off to Julie Cooper. And that's going to be offsides. They're trying to spring Brianna Marzano. Union's out with a free kick coming back. A lob down on the near side. Almost stepping on the ball there, but... Able to regain was Julie Cooper. Down to Marzano, just a little bit too far on that leave down the near wing. A few more changes. Chloe DeGia back in on the Laurel Highland side along with Jasmine Lemus. Emily Gammon back in on the Uniontown side.
Numbers have certainly been strong for the Laurel Highlands soccer programs over the last couple of years. Uniontown trying to build up their numbers a little bit. 17 on the Red Raider roster. A little over 30 on the Laurel Highlands side. We're going off of DeGia. Over to Hannah Newman. Newman now running out of her own zone. 13-17 left in regulation time. A touch from Emma Santor deflected high there to Allison Novak through Santor. And the Red Raiders spinning it back there with Zaya McCune battling Madison Nicklo. And Uniontown made another keeper change, but Raylan Ford back in goal, and Carmen Kudaba actually playing the field right now. Kudaba wearing number three. You have Ford back in goal. And Laurel Highlands looking for another one here on the run. Set up by Lindsey Klink, played down to Marzano. Brianna looking for the cross, unable to get it out in front. Good defense from Kaylee Matansky again on the Uniontown side. Twelve thirteen left in regulation. Jerry might have to brighten up the camera now with the sun setting a little bit. Get a little more light there. Georgia Holtz. Nice run here down the near side. Trying to spring a couple of Red Raiders on the attack. We had both Reese Haggerty there with Allison Novak. Ball roll out of play. Mass substitutions here for Uniontown. You got six and nine and ten all re-entering. That's Gammon, Lucy, and Matansky. And you have Emily Bolotti, another freshman, checking back in on the Laurel Highland side. A collision there on the far side. Mustangs with a nice run here from Allie Nose. Nose with a low shot and the save there from Raylan Ford. And threw it right back though to Lindsey Klink. Red Raiders trying to work out of their own zone. Good pressure here from the Mustangs. Played back to Chloe DeGia. Down again to Marzano, off to her left to Klink. Nagia trying to stay with it. Georgia Holes on a little poke back. Knocked down by Hannah Newman. Newman trying to get around Holes. And sent high again by the Red Raiders. There's a freshman gammon for the Uniontown side, but the Mustangs able to pick up possession again. On a little touch there to Allie Nose. It was fronted there by Nina Brown. Resets back, a little low ball, trying to spring up Lindsey Klink. A roll back to Raylan Ford. Uniontown boys now on the track. Again, they'll take on Trinity. About 20 minutes after this match ends. We have 9.35 left here in regulation, 11 to 1. Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. And offsides call there on the run back from Alley Nose. Red Raiders take it again. Ball goes through Mackenzie Lucy and down on the far side. Picked up by the Mustangs. Addy knows. And Addy now out of her own zone. And 
Jasmine Lemus another touch. Down to Nose again. Nose on the run on the poke and into the back of the net for another Laurel Highlands goal. Addie Nose. Their sister Allie got one earlier. And now Addie makes it two for the family. Here at the 835 mark of the second half, and it's a 12-1 lead for Laurel Highlands over Union Town. Good to see both of the Nose sisters getting involved. All Laurel Highlands in this one as we approach the eight-minute mark of the second half. Uniontown's lone goal scored by Georgia Holes. It was 7-1 at halftime. Mustangs have scored five here in the second half. Trying to set up another break here. Again, this will be the Mustangs' 18th straight win over Uniontown in this series. Uniontown has not defeated Laurel Highland since 2009. A collision there inside the box. Played back out there to Emma Santor. Emma Little Poke. Good block out in front. Kling trying to stay with it. That was Julia Mills with the block on the Uniontown side. Battle still on top of the 18. Emma Santor staying with it. That time was blocked by Matansky. And covered. Raylan Ford. So Kate Shido got the scoring started for Laurel Highlands. Goals of the 37 and 33 mark, 33 minute marks of the first half. And another opportunity here on the doorstep and into the back of the net for another Laurel Highlands goal. Coming here at the 645 mark of the second half. And Jerry, was that uh, Ali knows seven? Allie knows getting that goal, so that's now three for the Nose family and two for Allie, making it 13-1 and back-to-back -back Nose goals here for Laurel Highlands in the second half. So Allie knows a two-goal night. Certainly pad the stats on the Laurel Highlands side. 13 goals scored in this match. A lead at 12. So Chido scored the first two. Then Jocelyn Radcliffe joined in at the 32-minute mark. Madison McLean got a goal a minute later. It was 4-0. Jocelyn Radcliffe got her second at the 29-minute mark of the first half to make it 5-0. Ellie Mancini, I think the goal of the night from 25 yards out at the 25-45 mark of the first half. It was 6-0. Then Allie Nose got the first goal for the Nose family at the 23-46 mark of the first half. 7-0 Laurel Highlands. Georgia Holes did get a goal for Uniontown with 7.20 left in the first half. So 7-1 was your halftime score. Katie Chido got her hat trick at the 24.50 mark of the second half. Jocelyn Radcliffe got her hat trick at the 20.20 mark of the second half. Then Radcliffe added her fourth of the match a minute and 10 seconds later, the 19.10 mark to make it 10-1. Ellie Mancini got her second to make it 11 to 1. Addie Nose got her first at the 835 mark to make it 12 to 1. And then Allie Nose got her second at the 645 mark to make it 13 to 1. And now we have appears to be an injury down here on the Uniontown side. As Georgia holds down. Holds the lone Uniontown goal scorer down, and she's going to hop back up. I just been tying her shoe down there on the Uniontown side, so that's good to see. We have 442 left here in regulation as Holes will trigger it in here for the Red Raiders. And now decides not to. Doesn't give the ball to Laurel Highlands. They did stop it as an injury timeout. Chloe DeGia playing it forward to Emily Ritz. Poked back there again by Holes. And rolled back to. Hannah Bohr, who's played the entire second half in goal for Laurel Highlands after Jaden Rulvacaba started the match and just issued the one goal, two holes in the first half. A little action here in front of Bohr again, and she'll scoop this one up in front of Zaya McCune. Again, tomorrow, Laurel Highlands football team returns to action, trying to go 3 0 for the first time since 1976. Against Brownsville, 7 o'clock starts. 
Gary Frankhauser and Tony Hanula will have the call here on the South Union Township Sports Network. I'll be on the WMBS side with Steve Superick. We'll all be down at historic Redstone Field tomorrow night. I think, Jerry, the last time I was down there for a game was actually Laurel Highlands boys soccer game down there. We did about six or seven years ago. Like those natural grass games, certainly a throwback. Again, we mentioned the last time the Mustangs started 3-0 and was Gary Frankhauser's senior year. Maybe he'll share some stories that 76 season during the broadcast tomorrow. Under three minutes left here in the second half. Of course, Gary will have to keep those at least PG rated, Jerry, for you tomorrow. But I think he'll keep them cleaner than maybe if Tony was telling the stories. Should be a fun night tomorrow. Down a historic Redstone Field. And yeah, we're back. More soccer action next week. Laurel Highlands boys in action at home. 7.30 Wednesday against Ringgold. Laurel Highlands girls in action against Trinity. 7.30 Thursday. Both games here on the South Union Township Sports Network. And finally looking forward to getting back to Mustang Field, seeing the new turf. Haven't had a home game yet in any sports yet this year. And we'll get there for the first time next week. Approach the two-minute mark of the second half. And a late change here on the Uniontown side. Maddie Basinger back in, replacing Lizzie Franks. Mustangs trying to lead another break here with Lexi Taylor. Touch there for Emily Ritz. Also Emily Bolotti, another freshman, getting some action. I think if you dressed, you played today. On both of these teams. One twenty two left. Emma Santor angled off here on the near side. Back to Ritz. I think the Mustangs might be off sides. Was not whistled down and will roll back into Raylan Ford. I think the referees, as we go under a minute left, is letting it go right now. And we appreciate you joining us. Actually, our first live stream soccer game here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Started the live streaming during the indoor soccer season and high school basketball season last year. This is our first soccer broadcast. Looking forward to bringing you the live action all fall. Final 24, <coughs> excuse me. Down in the final 15 seconds now. <clears throat> One final corner kick. And my voice gave out here in the final minute. And that'll do it. Well, 14 goals will do that to you. 13 to 1, your final score. Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. Tonight's game, Rock is a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Fernan, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CU TV, Gary Smith and his staff. Again, I'm Brian Morozak with Jerry Dupay. Your final score, Laurel Highlands 13, Uniontown 1. This has been a South Union Township Sports Network presentation.